Hey guys, it's your girl Onyx and I and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing this silverish grayish color um, on this wig. This is a wig I got off of Amazon and I'm going to be using these two dyes, the platinum and a door um, and then I'm going to also be toning the hair with the shimmer light shampoo. Now you need both of these. Both of these are very, very, very important. So I started off with a bucket of hot water. I put it up maybe a fourth of way and then I went ahead and put some of the shimmer lights in there. Now, when I started to mix it, make sure you mix it fully because the color is purple. So if you just dip the blonde wig in there, you will have purple chunks in the wig. So you want to make sure that you mix it properly all the way so there's no clumps at all. And also the hot water is going to break that down too. So just make sure it's boiling hot. And now I'm going to go in with my wet wig. I always wet the wig before um, because I feel like a dry wig takes... The color a lot um, slower and you may miss parts I always wet my wig before I don't know that's just me and I'm just go ahead and I'm dipping it and I'm making sure I squeeze out all that purple shampoo it just make sure I get all parts and then you also see me here turning the wig around you want to make sure that you take different sections of the wig and dip it because if you just continuously dip one way um, certain parts like the middle of the wig or the back of the wig will not get that color so you want to make sure you do every section, get everything covered, and just take your time with this, please. And you now see it's kind of turning like a really um, icy white, kind of, I'll say. It's getting all that yellow tone out, so you, it's turning a lot more white. Okay, guys, you probably are going to hate me, and I'm so, so, so sorry. This video is from about a year ago, and I'm just not editing it. Um, because it's just been sitting here and I realized the reason why I didn't post it is because I lost the footage of me actually coloring the way the wig what am I talking about the wig the gray color so I'm just going to tell you guys exactly what I did I used that same bucket and I filled the bucket about halfway with boiling hot water and then I used only half of the bottle of a door dye and I mixed it thoroughly just like I did with the shimmer lights and then I dipped the wig in sections to make sure all of the wig got the same amount of color now my wig was only 16 inches and it was from Amazon so it was a little bit on the thinner side so I only had to use half the bottle um but if your wig is a lot thicker and a lot longer, you're going to want to use the whole bottle or maybe a little bit more. Just make sure you do it in sections. So color it once. If you want to get darker, color it again. Just make sure you don't go overboard with the color. But that's basically what I did. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I'm so sorry. Hey, guys. It's girl Ice and I. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Ooh, my nostril. Welcome back to my channel guys and today as you guys saw before in the clip before I'm doing this gray wig this icy storm That's what it's giving I did gray before Way back when freshman year of college, but um I never took pictures in that so I'm gonna do it again But um, I basically showed you guys how I colored the hair and everything and Now I'm gonna show you guys how I install it. I already put my bald cap on this is actually not correct right here. Y'all do not come from my ashy hands in the comments. I just colored the wig in the water. Chill on me. It's too far back. Lotion on me. <laughs> Let this dry. And I'm just going to talk. So I have a couple videos like this already. So I'm just going to show you guys basically the basics. Oh, there's lash glue under my nail. I'm going to just show you guys and talk you guys through what I'm doing. Oh, my eyebrow look crazy. But I already did the ball cap. So I'm just going to cut this. I'm gonna cut the sides. Cut this side. <sighs> and we're gonna see where we want this wig to lay. See this part right here? I don't know if this is, I don't think that's it. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna cut the ball cap and I'm gonna let you guys watch that part. Pretty much self explanatory. If you want a ball cap video, please let me know and I will do that for y'all. Hey guys, now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead in with some powder on the ball cap to make it my skin color. Okay, 
okay now that i've done that i'm gonna go ahead in with my paper towel this paper towel is what i've just used to clear off my makeup off my forehead and just clean up around the edges so it does have some makeup on here already but i'm just going in around my hairline we're gonna wipe all that off wipe all the excess product around the ball cap just so the ball cap not the ball cap just so the wig could stick properly on the glue and the glue will last longer so the wig stay down a lot longer you see that boom bam boom bam boom i'm gonna add the makeup back on my forehead when i'm done okay so now that that is done we're gonna go ahead and make sure the wig fits because that's very important if the wig don't fit <laughs> it's gonna be real awkward Look like storm. I don't want this to sit right on top. I don't want it to go any further up. Ugh. Yeah, it's it's pretty stretchy. Perfect. So now that that is done, we're gonna go in with. Sorry guys, I have my hair bag down here. I have it in every video. I'm oh oh it's here. <laughs> I have it like, mm. what the heck? I have it like this in every video because most of my hair stuff I bring from work. So that's what you see me going down into. It's my hair bag. That's what we see. That's what you see me throwing stuff back into as well. Because somebody commented last time was like, "You're just throwing it." Yeah, I'm throwing it in my bag. Mind your business. Ah. Anyways, so I'm gonna go in with my bold hold. And I'm gonna do four layers. I'm going to go ahead and do the third layer now. Okay, now this is the final moment. I go ahead and push it, pull it forward. That was so ugly. Please ignore that. <laughs> Please ignore that. We put that side on. Okay, so now that that's there, I'm going to go ahead in and I'm going to part off my ears. Part these bad boys off. Now I'm going to do a little bit more cutting. Okay, 
Okay, y'all, it is now, I don't even know how much later. Let me check my, how long did I have this on? So let's see. Um, maybe 30 minutes. A lot of my um, clients really cannot take the tight elastic, but I think I've gotten so used to it that it really doesn't even bother me. But I'm gonna take it down now. I really didn't realize it's been almost 40 minutes. I was letting my camera charge, but I'm just gonna hold this. You wanna hold this. Is this already? Hold on. I don't want this hair in my mouth. Oof. Um, you can sit under a headed dryer for a few minutes, probably like 10 minutes, but if you just keep it on regular, I say just keep it on for about like 30 minutes. 15, 30 minutes, depending on how long you can take, but I say the longer the better. So, cause it's gonna flick. You don't want it to flick and mess up anything. And you're gonna let it, I'm gonna put down. Okay, that's a lot better. Let me put some makeup back on my forehead because my forehead is looking real crazy. My heart, my heart is breaking. Now that my makeup's back on, it's starting to, you guys are starting to tell that it looks, it's definitely melted. It's a Meltiana. I just don't have makeup on my forehead, but it is melted. Yes, it's not going nowhere. This joint is snug. I think I'm gonna do a middle part. I don't do middle parts, I usually do side parts. A lot of things I'm gonna do a side part. I don't know if I can do a middle part. I don't know if I can do it. Yeah, that's not giving. It's giving like voluminous a side part with a lot of volume right here. So what I'm going to pull, so I'm just gonna take my rag tail comb and part it off. I really play myself. I really thought I was gonna do a middle part. Mm -mm, that's not me. I can't do it. Let me see that. I'm gonna come back just a little bit more. Ooh. Yes. And we're gonna go ahead and hot comb this down. We're gonna hot comb over here as well. I'm just gonna hot comb it in this direction. So, cause we still want it to have some volume. We're just gonna hot comb it like this. And then leave the volume. And I'm also gonna take my wax stick. This is the wax stick from Studio XLV. And I'm just gonna go along all that. I really should have did no baby hairs. You see this? That looks bomb. I really don't want baby hairs. <laughs> Kinda don't want baby hairs now. Uh, let's see. Mm. Uh. Period. You see that? You see that? You see me, ooh, that burned me. <laughs> it's really hot. But like I said, I'm gonna hot comb right there and then I'm going to take this here. And section everything off. Um, I'm gonna do relatively big sections because I want the curls to be pretty big. I don't want teeny curls, so I'm gonna cut this as well. that piece and now we're going to curl that piece away from my face Oh, 
Yes, you want it just like that. Just like that. Oh, I don't think I can see just like that. I'm so sorry. Please excuse me. Okay, guys, so I curled my hair. I just basically curled away from my face in big sections. So I parted this section in two, curled it, this section in two, curled it, this section in two, and I layered a little bit right here. So I'm gonna take off the elastic now. I already laid my baby hairs. Sorry, guys. I literally only did like one baby hair, so it doesn't like. I have videos on how I did my baby hair. I do my baby hairs. Oh, oh, wait. I just want some lip gloss, should I, y'all? Hold on, let me try some lip gloss. It's smacking on my lips. So when I take down my hair, it can be so beautiful. I would outline my lips, but I don't know. Mm. Really don't feel like it right now. My lips are already OC big. Okay, so let me take it down there. How the heck did I do this? This pussy should come with an asthma pump. Hit it up in it, I'm breathing. I got them popping and wheezing. Yeah, yeah, hey. Ha! Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let me throw some more foundation back on my forehead. This is straight be acting like it don't want to have no foundation on my forehead. Go back and contour that. Uh -huh. Ooh, let me stop talking. Let me blend my forehead back out because, girl, don't ask me what's going on. Don't ask me none of that because I don't know. Uh -huh. Okay, back to the main issue at hand. Boom. Okay, so. Boom. I'm going to take out these. Oh, my hot comb is not on anymore. Let me turn it back on. I'm gonna do this side right here. Yeah. 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 What the heck? Okay, that was a lot. I'm gonna coat my blue hers. Mm. Keep it soft, right? Soft and bubbly. We're just gonna take a little bit of makeup off the baby hair, so just a smidge it. Just a smidge it. Okay. I got him coughing and wheezing. Yeah, yeah, hey. I'm gonna use a brush and I'm gonna brush out these curls. I really want some, uh, maybe I should turn y'all down a little bit. Mm. If it's leaning, I'm so sorry. I don't know what the issue is right there with that. Did y'all just see me bare myself? I know y'all saw that. It actually really, really hurts. And I burned off some of the freaking hair. Oh my gosh, my forehead. Like what? This is why I use a close-up mirror, people. Don't do what I did. I'm real clownish right now. Real clownish. Gosh, I cannot believe I just burned my finger like that. I mean, my forehead like that. Well, this is definitely what I was looking for, like the real big curls. Ooh. 
know what in this one to kind of like. Oh, well, let me add some powder to my heart. Hold on one second. I cannot believe, I really cannot believe I just burn myself like that. Like, who does that? I don't know. Don't ask me. I got them coughing and wheezing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Mm. I actually cannot believe this. And how that just burned me like that. Like, it's actually really... this is flat flat you see that now i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like mm -hmm. come on focus over here there we go you all see that there we go this is definitely giving icy girl icy 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 gray hair Boom, period, bomb. Ah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Okay, so basically like I showed you guys in the beginning, what I did use is I used the Adore Platinum. Yes, I used Platinum, but I only used one bottle of this. Hold on, let's let it focus. There we go. I used one bottle of the Platinum. And then I also use the shimmer lights. Now I love this because it literally tones the hair perfectly and it gives all it takes away that orange, not orange, yellowish undertone that the 613 hair usually has. So I use this to tone it first, but when you do put it in there, like I said in earlier in the video, do not like let it sit in there. Make sure everything is mixed around. There's no excess shampoo in there, like no clumps, and you're gonna go and dip it. Like don't let it sit like that, 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 like bro. <laughs> You're gonna keep dipping it because if you let it sit then there's going to be it's gonna turn purple because it does take up the color really quickly and after I did that I went in with the platinum now the platinum is kind of like um, I already showed you guys that the platinum is kind of like a purple as well if you guys could see it's coming out of the bottle a little bit it's kind of like a purple as well but um, it's supposed to be obviously platinum and I only use one half bottle of this as you guys saw I made sure and I parted the hair away from each other just so the um, the color doesn't take in one area and the rest is blonde because it will do that. I had to keep re-dipping as you guys saw. I literally dipped sections by itself just so the color was even all the way through. And boom, it may look a little bluish purple when it's wet, but when it dries, it looks just like this. Um, and I hope you guys love this video. If you guys have any more questions or anything, go ahead and let me know. Make sure you follow my Instagram, Ani Sanaya, and make sure you subscribe. We're almost at 1K subscribers. Wow. Make sure you follow me on TikTok at Ani Sanaya. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Ani Sanaya. Everything is Ani Sanaya, period, point blank, boom, just like that. And follow my business page at Crown the Luxuries on Instagram to get your hair slayed like this. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.